again fellow beer friends lovers of freedom men and women of goodwill consciousness people wherever you are all over the world i will say good morning good afternoon good evening to some of you good night depending on your time zone once again this is radio biafra extra we are streaming live through radio biafra london being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of biafra his name is mazi uchi uka from four he is from abatete about it is in Anambra State, and Anambra State is Biafra land. He is the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. As we took up from a for standing on the deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazen and Yoku Kano, the Prince of Afari Ibeku, heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom, the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people. Nobody has been able to do this for almost 60 years now until he came. He's the director of Radio Biafra as well as Biafran Television. The one and the only man that commands the loyalty of the Biafran nation. And by the grace of Chuko Kikabi, I might remain George Onibe. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State. And Delta State is Biafra land. And I must tell you that with a heart full of gra gratitude, we appreciate the Creator. We call him Chukoki Kabiyama, the one that makes the heavens and the earth. For we lift not up our eyes to the hills, nor to the mountain, but to him who made the heavens and the earth. For he has promised to keep us from all evil, he who owns our life. And so once again, I welcome you as always. This very evening, on this segment, the team is always back to your root. Back to your root. A lot of people, based on their way or method of thinking, just don't want to hear that name because they believe that our root is safe. That is why Yoruba pastor is busy delivering you from every form of a central cause, a central sin. And I begin to wonder, is this our ancestors so bad, so wicked, so evil, that there is no a central blessing? Oh, Setiana, you are busy going for family liberation, family deliverance. Is that something truly wrong? Of course there is, and that is why we are here. Some people say, move, let's move, let's, a lot of things are wrong. We are not in a hurry. If we must deliver a pure Biafran, a virgin Biafran, a holy Biafran that shall descend from Chuko Kikabiyama to this planet Earth on the fire. A lot of things need to be done. A lot of things, honestly. So, so when you hear back to your root, they saw this our root is evil, it's evil. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. Elukui. But our topic this evening is some of the obstacles that hinder the quick restoration of Biafra. 
some of the obstacles on our way to hinder the restoration of Biafra that people do not understand. Like I said in our leader's last broadcast, he, he, he resurrected a lot of revolution, which I believe is going to guide us into what we do for a very long time. Some of the hindrance, some of the things that hinders us from getting Biafra quickly and as possible as we can. Many people don't know. But we shall engage every man or woman that is involved, physical or spiritual being, we will engage all of them because it will be very stupid of all of us. If at the end of the day, we decide to ignore that which matters more, we decide to pretend as if there is nothing going on, we will be fooling ourselves in the end. You see, I was discussing with somebody, one of my village boys, and we were just talking about my people, Abo people. And he said something that shocked me. And he said to me that Ubi of Abo, I believe he's listening to me now, said that, passed a message, and said that Abo people should not answer Igbo name again. And then I begin to wonder with due respect, who is Obi of Abo? He was born in 1976. The same hospital with one of my younger brothers. So who is Obi of Abo? What is his name? And having had this chat with this guy, I, I was really very bad. And if Obi of Abo can be very stupid because he was brought up in Tirizame Pilas, then we will cure all of your disease. You people don't have sense. You people don't have sense. Because when we call, we say Nayang will do. Okay, see, I pass. So, uh, we call people name. Do you think those of you we are not calling, does it make you any better? We thought you have sense. If you don't have sense, we will treat your stupidity. And then Obi of Abo, known as uh, Obi Kabekuzi, Obi Kabekuzi, if he ever made a comment like that, then he's very stupid. Because I know his father. His father's name is Ike Chuku. The Obi Ike Chuku gave birth to Obi Kabwekusi. His father died without having a child. But one of the wife was still pregnant. And they said the throne cannot move to the next family until that other wife delivered. And the way God will have his way, he gave birth to a boy. And they called him, named him after the circumstance. Which means, what will our people say again? If a son of Ikechuku will come out and tell you not to answer his father's name again, then his father is stupid. His father, father, Marere, and all of them are stupid. These are obstacles we want to clear from our way. Because IPOB, some say it's a moving train. No, we have gone beyond that stage. We are moving thunder. We will thunder you. We were calling uh, Amadioha. Now Ikenga has joined the train. And then you think you can stand it. Make on our respect on ourselves. All this useless politics. Is it not enough for all of us to get the sense? Look at the hindrance on our way and move ahead. If he, uh, Obi of Abo ever said that, and then he's going to have a woman on that throne of Abo, and then that throne must go to the next family. When I don't get sense, but I do not blame them. There were obstacles on the way. They carved us, they divided Biafra land into three. Let's forget about Satan Kimiru now. Let's focus on Nigeria. They divided Nigeria into three. Biafrans into three in Nigeria. You have Biafrans in the Bender State, they call Midwest. You have a couple of them in the Middle Bet. And the rest of them were the Eastern region. And they appointed slave master over all of us who actually propel, who actually engineer this nonsense you are seeing today. Obumudia was a very influential tool to convert Bender people to Yoruba. When you are from a do state, you are asking, he said, do uh, 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 Biafran, let me tell you. 
I was born in Bender State. I was not born in Delta State. I knew everything about Delta St Bender State. I know every community that makes up Bender State. In fact, I trek them from backyard to backyard. Most of you don't know. From Abudu, I trek from Abudu to Abo. There is no single market in any community my mother don't have shop. I trek from Abudu to Abo. As young as 14 years. So, no community where we never enter. I was not born in Delta State. And certainly, I don't know what Delta State is. I was born in Bende, not Abia State, Bende. For record purposes, having divided us in Edo State now, you have Ibu in Edo State. You can call them a Baki. You can call them a Boto. You can call them Ozanogogo, Ozanisi. You can call them a Uru. You can call them a Ekmo. You can call them a Lago, a Lishimye. Even a Bafu, half of our Bafu is, is, is there. These are Igbo people. But they think they are Yoruba today. Thanks be to Obumudia. You have Isako. You have Ekpoma. You have Olyongwo. You have Awuchi. You have, there is one community there that are Yoruba community. They came from Bene. They came from Bene Republic. They were royal blood, I must give it to them. I'm not talking about the throne of Oba of Bini. That is a pure Yoruba man. Any somebody tell you it's a Bini person. Hey, Oba, Oba, talk, man. You are very stupid and hopeless. You are just like they say, oh, we are proud Nigeria. You are a chimpanzee. Mature chimpanzee. The Oba of Bini is a pure, pure, pure Yoruba. One of the sons of Oni of Ife. Who came to Biafra land in the ancient day. Because we invited them. The Benedio family, the Isama of Edo Kingdom, invited them and said, let's know your own pattern of uh, 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 monarchy system. The only of Ife said he cannot leave his throne. He sent one of his prince who came to Bini City and married a Bini woman. And they gave birth to a son known as Eweka. And then Eweka gave birth to a monobai, I mean, a Varomi or Baisi. Before you begin to have the lack of, of a manobai radio or polo polo and the rest of them, before the man there, are you telling me somebody come from Benis, Yoruba land, he bad or to be precise, if fair, and then he married a Bini woman and their child now become a Bini person, you don't have sense. You must know the obstacle on our way. Having divided us, they pick the slave master among us, the same way they are picking them everywhere. If you want to look for the eye of any animal, you go to the head. That is why we are starting from southeast. Because that is exactly where the head is. And that is where we are looking for the eye of this evil. If any of you think you are running anywhere, you lie. Say, when we are here, all of you in Biafra land, slave masters, it will get to all of you. Don't worry. Be, be yapping. No, be fooling yourself. And you think you are happy in our stage today? Having been educated. And at the end of the day, one man like that, as short as Erufai, the one that cannot wash his teeth like Babangida, and the one dictating how we live. And you are collecting 10%, 10 and you are, you are very happy, and you, you are proud of yourself. Who the heck are you? Ubumudi, at the end of the day, the mother is a Bini woman. Sorry, the mother, the father is a Bini woman. And the mother is from Abo. The Bini of Yoruba, to be precise. When they were doing Biafran war, he was burying his mother with Nigerian private jet. That Chuko Kikabiyama crumbled. You are from Bini today. The earlier you begin to look for IPOB family and retrace your footsteps, the better for you. Is it Sako Oriongo? Is all your work, Poma? Is that Poma Uchi? Can you tell me why you have a, a, a tar of a gala and you have a tari of a Uchi? Who the heck is receiving who? And then, with the help of Obumudia, those who would have stopped him, people like Inkonya Swa, people like Konya Makono, they were crippled the same way Benedion was crippled. So, you will never know the truth. Just one signature, Okada Elan died off. They empowered his son, Lucky Benedio, to be governor and, and, and recover his father's stolen wealth. The same way they empowered Ojuku and give him Togate to recover the things they stole from him. We will always pay back all this atrocity against us as a people. 
Where is Okada airline? There are a few men that have looted Biafran fund and they cannot be questioned. One of them is Lucky Benedio. The next one is uh, uh, Peter Audele because the people who would have judged him have hand in what happened. In the same way, there is any global community coming out to speak morality before Nigeria. Nigeria will disgrace them because most of them are accomplished. But we will prepare the platform for them to speak the truth. Or that thing which they fear will come upon them. There are obstacles on our way. That is why we can't move forward. And then we have in Delta State, you have Anyocha, you have Osimili, you have Undokwa, you have Eka. So many of us, you have Abraka, you have Ole, you have Urobu, you have Isekili, you have Koko. How many will I call? We know who we are. We know who we are. The value system still remains there. There are a lot of things we have learned from our leader teaching. That is why all of you must go back and begin to recycle them. What are the value systems? What keep us together? If Obi of Abo ever said that, but in my own family, in my own family, my father, elder son, elder brother, have one son known as Okenkwo, Okafo, Okolie. The whole four market day, he had children named after the four market day. And I know good sense. I'm not sure if even sure Obi of Abo know the meaning of Abo. Somebody should send this clip for him. If he ever said that, without apology, all of you will be disgraced. Yeah, you yeah, are doing one Nigeria. One Nigeria that is looking for who to bury them. One Nigeria shall be like Buhari. We will go and bury one Nigeria in Britain. In the Ara. Let them bring Buhari and bury him in, inside Nigeria now. So we see how powerful they are. They go and bury him in Saudi Arabia. Pig will dig out his body. Because this is just the beginning of the journey. Hey, let's let's hurry up. Let's there were times all of you were shouting, let's kill IPOB, let's stop IPOB, let's excruciate them. It, all those are grammar. You can't, you don't have what it takes. Today they succeed in dividing us. Look at all of us. Oh, I'm not a Biafra, I'm Igbo. Oh, I'm not a Biafra, I'm Niger Delta. Oh, I'm not Biafra, I'm Abo. Yabo, can you wear your kidney? Omeni wo nya boy ho anu hin reku kiken. Kanyi nwa nyi keji nya ishi. Enyi ho ebe na nyi enyi ho akori ani ndi igbo. Ndi igbo me ho ne, ndi igbo me ho ne, ndi igbo me ni ho ne, ndi igbo ajoka. Enyi ho akori ani we. Janada bi orogodo ni ho anu lo le irisha ni orogodo ndi igbo nwon igwa. Eh? Okuku nwa okuku nwe nwo nwo so, otu okuku nwa da. Ife re mo nu. Nweni hia ya agwa na eze re shi ni wa ri apa yi. Any Google Kuko, can you buy Kelu, Ihani Kemel, and your Toma and Jemma Kata, and La Kata can you buy, and you are Lindio Ibo, and you pack Takame, and your two three bedroom flat abo, and you never may be Honda Prelude or Honda Accord. On your Bakam or Buha or Buha get your whole notcher, then if you get sent by a boy, a boy, a then Yanya Moto may be open roof for all. Yaga said, and Yashi Baleke, Yaga Baleke, Yabai Marere, Yaga Marere, Yabai Obiasequo, Yago Biasequo, Yabai Moka Street. Yabai de he, if we tear goo. Catany de Mercarena home. On your Takamo Opu boutique, Ipopu boutique a home. E Takame, Yakuronibo, ya memeni importation, O memeni importation. Can I know what call you an bo? You don't need book at a Upu boutique. Ono career, yeah, my boutique at home. Ono career, young women, I go me, young women, and potation. Women, and Ben and potation or Simba. It's a common potation. O Jada and Porto, my hair. O in Porto Bell Simba. Unka manufacturing him. O manufacture mine here. And you are a choy can you be. And I to share you. And they may big boy. And that flans, eh? Ne meme moskilo le Versace. Na igwo nwe nye shoku nu. I, 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 ebo liri le lu wani wo nye abo era nwo lu nke wo biyo wa. So biyo wa da jwa agun lo le di abo. O me nindi ibo ngon igwa na. E ki le ngon na. I pu ha bo hwen ya gwa a, 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 a,
But what go by how IPO behave by my so tono? The ratchet you boy, he can make it ba. O galu en kamano nyere de jungu e buale. O galu en kamano nyere de jungu e buale. Nde go no hear no reme. Ndi wa ni sinu ye bua patono ngwezi. O mena patono ngwezi. O tabeli amu. Tirone. Unu e susu ele lu e ba hon. Ano be nyangu mamu e nyefan. Bose de. Unu wara gumu ano bose de. Can you do your Ruba with your no? If any money, if any money, but of course, we must continue. A topic, like I said, is some of the obstacles that hinder the restoration of Biafra. Today, you are gathering Biafra. This I say, oh, I'm in Zion, I'm in Zion, this I say, oh, I'm in Niger Delta, upland, river run, bottom line, side line, sideway run, east land, mainland. Who the heck is deceiving who? We have to analyze and study them one after the other. When it comes to this hindrance, some of these attributes that is delaying this restoration project. There are some of the branches we have to consider, and this should be under the development area. One of them is structural development of our people, home and abroad. What is our mindset when it comes to infrastructure or structural development mentality? What kind of mentality do we have when it comes to infrastructural or structural development? What is our mindset when it comes to economic development, home and abroad? What is our mindset towards that, 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 those areas? When we talk about political structure of, our, of us as a people, home and abroad, do we have political structure? When we talk about sociocultural structure, do we have them? What is our mindset behind our sociocultural structure, home and abroad? Some of our people now are busy selling our people around the globe. If I mention your name, eh, those of you in India, you are fooling yourself now and I'm taking your data. We, 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 we deal with all of you. You have to come and take your parents out of Biafra land because this land will not contain all of us. Yeah, 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 Igbo man, you are, you are fighting for Nigeria, killing your brother for Nigeria. Are you not ashamed? You think we, we come here and talk what we will not do? Don't you know the people are tired? We look at the religious structure of our people, the Biafran people, home and abroad. Do we have religious structure? If we critically reevaluate our stand regarding these structures, you will be able to understand how much damage that we have caused to ourselves and the system. And as a result of this, because we don't care, we do not care, we neglect everything that is important to us, we are unpatriotic to our own kind, we are coward maybe, we are ignorant and sometimes naive, among others. You just check it. These are some of the things that we shall be discussing on this series. Everything causing obstacle to us as a people. Why? The restoration of Biafra look like it's taking time. We know what to do. Our leader know what to do. Biafra will come. Now, 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 now. But I can always tell people, at this stage, with the kind of mindset most of our people have, if they announce Biafra now, I won't even take one of my property. If I wear bossa, as I just said, ta -ta 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 -ta, Biafra go, only I will even leave my bossa and run away. Because there will be problem. Because most of our people don't reason proper. And you are the reason why we are shouting here every day. So I guess they say it's rude, it's arrogant, but it doesn't concern me. If it being rude and arrogant and telling you that thunder will fire you and Amodio how will kill you, will give us Biafra and make you to wake out of your stupidity, and then we shall gladly do that. Now, let us go on the first among the list today, which is structural development, structural mindset of our people, home and abroad. When you talk about structure, infrastructure, let us go back first of all, the way our fathers, where 
when it comes to structural development of our land. As a child, and those of you who were born the same time with me, you will understand that the building we claim today we have, we are not built by our generation. It was those generations who suffered quite shock or built them. That is the amazing thing there. So when you are afraid, oh, we will lose all these things. For, don't forget that everything we can boast of in Biafra land, we are built by those who suffer Kwashoko. Those of you who did not so, so, suffer Kwashoko, what do you have to show? Range Rover Sport. And that is those of you that are, are receiving stipends from Nigeria, the resources stolen from your land. Let's look at the mindset of our fathers when it comes to structural development. Now, Wherever you are in those days, as a Biafra, any money you make, the first thing our fathers did were to come back home and you build a house. I know it is only first sons that may not have building according to our structure. Because when a man has five children, the main family house belongs to the first son. And in most cases, first son cannot expound First son remained in his father's house. And then the father will call the second son and say, go to that plot there. You can build there. The second son will start struggling. He will build a mansion better than that of the first son. Because the first son sometimes is not even permitted to break down his father's mud house. So he must live in that mud house. But that mud house is the symbol of authority. And then these people go far and open up a family. And then they begin to have children. And as their children are coming up, they are also pointing land to them. Most of you have finished selling your central land. Which land will you point for your children to go and build? But, but let me not go there first. And then having pointed out all the land, structural, in terms of structural mindset, Every son must have a compound. And so when you are in Lagos, you do not bother yourself to build the house in Lagos, except you have a rented one room in your village. Do you know there are many millionaires, Biafra millionaires today across the globe who has most, some of the most expensive building in the world, but in their village, they don't have kitchen. They don't have kitchen. When they come, they look for a good five-star hotel. Some people are from Anambra. They lodge in Imo State Hotel because Imo State is the international hotel company of the world. What a shame. Our fathers didn't behave that way. Yes, our fathers built us across the world. But before they lay a block anywhere in the world, they have built in their village. Are we doing that today? Are we doing that? As I'm talking to you, I was very small and things was good for my father. He went to the village, he built one one flat for every one of us. The building still stand there today, till today. It is more than 30 years my father built this house. We have not slept in it once, but the building is still there. That is the culture of our ancestors. It's still standing there. But today, we have deviated. These are some of the things hindering Biafra. Somebody say, how does he hinder Biafra? He hinder Biafra because those of you who have invested your life in Lagos, you cannot support Biafra because you feel, feel Yoruba will take over your structure. You have not forgotten abandoned property. You are rightly right. But why will you continue making the same mistake? Will a fool and he stop you from building your house in your own father compound? Yes, they can stop you from building companies and industry, but they will not stop you from building your own house. At least they've not gotten to that stage. And now you begin to see the hindrance. Our fathers didn't make that mistake. Now look at the Yorubas. No matter how poor they are, only those Yoruba that are extremely rich will build a house in another man's land. 
They can own a house in Abuja. Watch that house. It is gotten from Iwet. Stolen money. Ulu ole money. They can build it in Abuja. Before one year, they will recover all the stolen money. Tell me how many houses in Anambra that belongs to a Yoruba man. I'm talking Yoruba. I have not come to our south. Tell me how many houses in Imo State that belong to Yoruba man. The only place you can see Yoruba man home building in Biafra land is River State. That is because 90% of the people working in Shell, Chevron, Eni, Saipan, Ajib, Mobi, Tota, all of them are Yoruba, 10 10%. So when Ikwere man bombards them with her, her, her rent, they know the money to even pay her rent in one year can build a mansion for them. They ignore Yoruba and take loan. After all, 90% of people selling Ikwere land are Yoruba, all the whole agent. Go and listen to your news, news, news uh, uh, station, radio station or TV station. Yoruba are selling uh, 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 Ikwere land. Anyhow, Okreka land, Karabari land. Yoruba are the uh, uh, land agent. Selling everywhere, sellable. And so they know, even if anything happened, they have made their money out of that house. I'm talking of Yoruba. You tell me how many houses in Imo State belong to Yoruba, except the married Imo State woman. And the woman now forced them to do that. What of data? They have sold all their property in Warren and other places and relocate to River State. Because I know they are not there. They are not in Cross River. Only River State, which was the center of gravity, kill and divide. But I hope our people will understand. So if Yoruba, most of you believe they were intellectual, would not build a house in your land, and you are there developing Lagos because you are wise, may God have mercy upon you. Our fathers were not that stupid. We go back to Aosa. That one is the worst. As we are speaking now, any Aosa man living in a good building in Biafra land, it is Biafra land that built them for them. As I'm talking to you now, some Aosa full any gate man, there is a condition in their gate man house. Some security houses are better than the main house. You don't have sense. You don't have sense. But you will say we are insulting you, but you don't have sense. Tell me one building in Biafra land, even Potako that belong to Aosa, they come with mats. They are sleeping under the bridge, inside the marketplace. They are everywhere. They have, they control the wet. They can buy anything as they are doing for Luga. They can build anything they want to build. But they want no regret. No regret. One of the things I learned as a Christian is that if you say you are a Christian, you must prepare your heart not to regard anything. And then I remember one of my wonderful consolation Christian song. It goes this way. I have no regret in walking with Jesus. I have no regret in walking with Jesus. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He makes all impossible why you believe. Oh, he makes all impossible why you believe. And that is why no matter what we have given into Christianity, we don't regret it. The same way when we came to IPOB, we know it is a service to the Almighty God. There is nothing we have given. There is nothing we can give. We will not regret it. Anything you like, do. No regrets. And then I will rephrase. I have no regret in working with Bia France. I have no regret in serving in IPOB because they are the people that will deliver us no matter what will happen in the end. May Chukwoki Kabiyama give them the grace to deliver Bia France. But I have no regret. What do they regret? But you are full of regret as we are telling you, Biafra, Biafra must be restored. Biafra, some of you, you are paranoid and God will punish you because you are stupid. These people one day, you're about to seize my house in Lagos, in Lekki, but they're going to seize it because you are stupid. Return your building to your village now. You don't have sense. Why can't Yoruba be afraid that we are going to seize their building? You are the only intellectual, Abi. 
That is why I first talk to our people. They are doing that. Uh, uh, they are wise. They are intellectual. They are they are gubalutarian. They are kurukutorian. You know where you want to deceive yourself. You begin to speak big, big English. Who send you? Who the heck cares about the English you are speaking? Eh? You are speaking grammar, big, big grammar. A gubalutarian, a rabatarian, a rakaseka. You don't tell me they hear grammar. Not be today. You don't tell our people must wake up. Our father was not that stupid. They knew that truth. Today you talk about River State. Tell me how many buildings you have in River State that is built by River State man. If it's not built by the next generation, not this generation. Oh, Imo State is fine. Tell me our own generation. How many did we build? Now those Kwashoko build them. But it's still, I'm from Anambra, you are not ashamed. How many of us built Anambra? It is the Kwashoko generation that built it because they knew what we don't know. Now you have the privilege to know the truth. Stop developing Yoruba land. Use your brain, use your head, use your tongue and count your teeth and understand that this rain will fall. It will fall. The battle line has been drawn. And so some of the obstacle we are facing today is most of you cannot come on because all the things you have labored for, maybe your father and father before them, they are in Yoruba land or they are now Fulani land. Or did I say Fulani land? Fulani don't have land. They are in Aosa land, even though Aosa land have been taken over by Fulani. And so you begin to fight against us. You begin to tell us, don't restore Biafra, don't restore Biafra. But let me give you a consolation word. Don't worry, you will lose those property. Except you relocate them now. Don't worry. Your children will regain. They will recover. Alliance will be open. And honestly, if you think I said something you don't like, please call me and tell me. If you have seen consequence of some of this action, the line is open. Air your view. And I promise, I will not antagonize you. But I will cure you. That is when you are sick, of course. I'll be back. In a minute, we're not going anywhere.
at this time our lines are open please tell me the investment of yoruba in terms of infrastructure in biafra land investment of fulani investment of Hausa in biafra land somebody just told me the only investment of yoruba in biafra land is church is church is church where you are sat in jesus 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 winner chapel chapel winner thunder fire martin of oracle all of them only in biafra land that is the only thing that connected you to yoruba people in the era. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. I repeat again, our WhatsApp line 070-815-45642. Every inquiry there, you are Biafran, you have not joined IPUB. We can help you save that your father building as Biafra now. Look for IPUB and join and start willing now. Start willing now. Our direct line is 081 221-52971-081-221-52971 is a direct line 081-221-52971. Special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female, I repeat again, is 081-288-58614. Caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, George. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling my, from? My name is Sidovim Okori. By the grace of God, the assistant coordinator of Obi Orazon. First of all, my heart goes to the family of the rich of Namde Kano. I condole with them the death of their mother, our dear mother. A very gracious and precious gift to us. The belly and the hand that condoled our leader. I say may your soul rest in peace. And I pray for the family to be here. For we all must at this very period. May God be with us. And may he may she advocate for us before Fuku Abiyama. In the name of Fuku Abiyama. He said. My brother, I have a, this very little complaint to give. I've been complaining this to the media team for longer than now. It's more than one month. This woman forced our king, Eze Ibu Ubane of Umoihe, to give a treasure and a precious land of ours, even Tando Mobo, to the Fulanese, at the cost of 5 million naira only. Years back, Julius Beta, working for us, constructing roads in our place, confirmed that there is a cold, that is called fish, within that of the apple, at the end and now this woman has forced the the, 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 the hungry king to collect five million naira and install the house of the at that very land. And we have been trying our best. Our people from Akeze is now at home. Uh, from uh, Lagos, Akeze people from Lagos, or uh, Nature people, we are at home. We want to give back the five million naira, but there is no way to give it back again. Please, we want the IPUB family to help us. Because maybe this is the only way that they want to use that very call from that very place, because he cannot spend that, that very land by himself to collect the, that very thing. Now he is using the Fulani people to install them there. Please, let, 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 let's help us. Let Chukwadiyama help us all in the name of Chukwadiyama. Thank you very much. Your complaints are noted. Let's see. Are you there Call and what's up? Yes, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. This is Chikazi Madubuko calling from Aba. Actually, I can only say to our leader, Yakarobi, it has happened, it has happened. And we are jointly, as all the IP members, saying to our leader, we are 100% with you. Then, coming to um, the Yoruba, evil people the only i was i was maybe five years ago or seven years ago i was in benin converting my vehicle from lagos to aba 
the customs intercepted me at Benin, close to the toll gate, just a two minute drive to the old toll gate. They delayed me for over five to six hours, demanding for money, and I said, I will not pay. What am I trying to say until they broke? And their senior officer came and told me, oh boy, why, why don't you give them the 10,000 and forget about it? I said, why should I give, why should I pay 10,000? Then we started discussing, we, 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 we enter into politics. I'm trying to let the Biafrans know that Yorubas are evil. At a certain point, I told this man that the only tribe that can be president or will be forever president in Nigeria are the Biafrans. Because we are everywhere. Do you know that this high-ranked custom officer opened his mouth and told me that their forefathers told them never to buy land or even to build in the eastern part of the country called Nigeria, that we are not one people, that a day shall come when Nigeria shall be divided. And if they even invent anything in the eastern part of the country, they are going to lose it. Frankly speaking, this is what a high rank officer in a custom officer in Bini, a Yoruba man, told me. What makes us one? Nothing except stealing and 10% from Yoruba section. Another one is the church. Yoruba church are evil. They are being sponsored by federal government to confuse Biafrans. I am feeding us with the simple truth. There is no miracle that I have addressed in Yoruba church. All of them, both mountain of fire, fire of mountain, you know, redeem, re recover, um, um, Olukoya, all of them. There's no miracle that I have an address in Yoruba church. Watch me, and I stand to challenge anybody to tell me any miracle that done by a Yoruba pastor. What they normally do is this when they come to crusade in Naba. They will say, ah, a man from Kanu have a miracle. Abai will not get faith. When they go to Lagos, a man from uh, Bayasa will have miracle. Who is fooling who? Mr. George Onyebe. We have freedom come, and we must be free. That we shall be free from all the shenanigans of the Yoruba evil conspirators. Thank you, Mr. George Onyebe, and thank you, Bia France. Thank you, my brother. Good night, sir. We must continue. Thank you. It's just simple. I want you to know some of the things causing challenges, delaying Biafra restoration. Not delaying it in the real sense, but it's making you to have double mind. If you like, have hundred mind. Biafra must be restored. Omen wa honi kwe mi hime wwe kwe hwa. En yire cho ganyi keji me mo bombo skata. Nye iti fyo nye anonla. You just have to do the right thing. We've all made this mistake in the past before now. Now, Radio Biafra is here. Her main duty is to wake you up. Wake you up from Yoruba Church. Wake you up from deception of British government. Wake you up from useless certificate that is deceiving you, calling yourself professor, intellectual, PhD, learned colleague, but you don't learn it anything. We must face the reality. Most of you, somebody came on my WhatsApp line, gave his father the insult I have never received. And I was like, what's the problem? He said, do you know how many house my, my father have in a, a Jambadi? Is that a concern of me? When you are supposed to be selling the house in Jambadi and going to somewhere in a, uh, Biafra land to relocate, you are there speaking grammar. You better use Amburu money now. And then maybe 50 years later, your children will be going to court to defend it. Then one Yoruba will be saying, I put it to you. It's a, not your own. You will say, no, you put nothing. It's my own. <laughs> Can you hear me call on the line? Call her on the line. You'll be speaking grammar there. I put it to you. And then the other one will say, you put nothing. They will be put in and be removing. After some years, the house will be gone. Can you hear me call on the line? Precisely, watcher. Uh, let me stretch this question. After the uh, son of uh, King Jacob, 
who was uh, in the name of uh, Joseph, went to become the prime minister of Egypt. Since then till now, which of the Israelis have ruled Egypt again as a prime minister? Now, you see why our people are fooling themselves. You become as in Debo in Akure, you become as in Debo, uh, Northern California, yet you have never become a... He don't even president. have mud house. The mud house he grew up from in the village is down. Full and a cow yes. is crying there now. But he owns half of America. Okay. Okay. Now, and you have been ringing this bell. Ringing this bell, bringing us back to recognize our roots, recognize our history. Do you know that most of the things you're teaching here, I never knew that. Just came back for seven hours ago now from ministry. There's a place that we are calling on to do the kind of uh, uh, way they dress, the women tied to rappers and all that. So I was asking the girl, What's the position in family? She says she's at that. I said, okay, what are you telling me you are you're not uh, uh, this part of uh, the Afro land and you are, you are just there yeah, that I should forget that I should not be asking you all those things. Let's do what we're doing. You know? Because one is a lot of things have gone wrong. Now, if you talk about this uh, Europe who have come here, I think number one thing is the church, like you said. Then the other things that have been, hap that have been happening. Do you know that, like you said, it is African, this river state entirely, have been taken away through the warrant chiefs of the Britain to hand over to these uh, uh, useless Yoruba uh, people. And they are now selling the land back again to themselves and to the politicians because, as it stands now, the economic uh, 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 subjected us into will never allow you, even if they make that land 100,000, I cannot afford it. Because I can't. The policies they have rendered us into in our artisan business and all that petty trading work, we can't afford that money. All we do is eat from hand to mouth. And somebody from somewhere come and take the land that we would have used to build low cost houses for the youth to be far from social vices. And some people are there who are learning more than us are talking, are telling you that you are talking rubbish, but you don't need Biafra. Yeah? A lot of things are happening, damages have been caused against us, and people cannot learn from this. They are welcoming you, but welcoming you, and they are there killing us, destroying our future. So I am no longer happy, and I thank God for persons like you, because I don't know why we have persons who even, okay, now, if, if, if you make this equation now, you studied in Nigeria, so called Nigeria, but this idiot of uh, Ebony State or Anambra State, what's his name? I heard he's studying in London or whichever Cambridge. He doesn't even know uh, from his left to right. And he's here back, he's a uh, uh, whatever PhD holder. These people should be tied rope together, put them inside the perfume, those are what are out of sea, let them drown their idiots. Thank you, sir. I'm back from there. Thank you very much, Colin. What's up? Are you there? Yes, uh, Reverend, good evening. Good and evening um, how are you doing? Of course, God, yeah. is, God is faithful. Reverend, amen. Reverend, uh, I'm uh, Uduchi, calling from the. Uh, yes, my name is. My name is Pastor Uduchi, calling from Finland. Go ahead, please. Um, go ahead, please. Okay. Maybe you are listening to your right. radio. If not, go ahead. So, Reverend, um, the first of all, uh, our heart is uh, very, very um, sorrowful for the, our auntie, our mother, our dad uh, in our own uh, dialect. Uh, because I'm from home, I yeah, will call that. Our nene that uh, um, just uh, left us and uh, went to raise uh, the hand of God. We pray that uh, the Chukuka be them. When our leaders and all our POB, we join hand together and uh, with one heart to stand in solidarity with our leader. And as we move forward, 
Um, I heard everything that uh, you were saying, but uh, tonight, my lament, I want to lament on this, um, um, this Yoruba. In the afternoon, somebody talk about the Yoruba thing. And uh, that's why my, I want to talk about this Yoruba again. We have three enemies now, or four, facing the Biafran. One is uh, British and uh, all the rest of the world. Second is uh, Fulanese. Third is uh, their politician. Fourth is Yoruba. Among these four enemies we have, the most dangerous one out of them all is Yoruba. I want to point out uh, the gift which Yoruba have given to Biafra. I thank God that our people will be searching, going deep to see the harm Yoruba have done to Biafra, general. First of all, when the war is about to break out, it was a uh, Biafra man, Jim Ojuku, that uh, um, released a war from prison. And the fighting, the first money of our brother, who gave us recently, the young soldier, they do the coup in order, the crew, the specific crew, in order to bring Yoruba man into power, not even Igbo man. Now, when our deal released Awolowo, they return back. Awolowo gave us is to kill our mothers, our father, our children, 3.5 million over that, above. It's more than that. The second gift that one of give to us was to take all our money and give us 20, 20 pounds. And the poor people that also continue to do everything to make sure that we are, we are not assisting, you see the children of uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this Yoruba. Those people that um, I will never use our money to send other scholarship. So therefore, the second one, the, the second person is uh, Tunumbu. No, uh, before Tunumbu, we have Tari Muhammad, who committed genocide against Biafra. The third is, is the first was the Yoruba people to wear Biafra uniforms to start massacring Biafra. The fourth one was uh, Tunumbu. He criticized the South for more than six months to teach how to eliminate Igbos, and that was the, the first marriage to carry out against them. Third, the special law the B77 uh, uh, gate. Only Biafran that are saying they are Yoruba is with us. They will help Yoruba. We are, in fact, Yoruba is the most. Everything that a Fulani is doing is Yoruba is going internationally and doing it to make sure that we are, not, we are no more. So that's what I want to say that Yoruba is the, the worst enemy we ever had before we even talk about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are just going, just beginning. Our people must understand what we are talking about this evening. It is simple. And that truth is that all of us must embrace this truth. You are busy developing Yoruba land, Awasa land, Fulani land. It's your money, honestly. But do not stand in the way of restoration of Biafra because you build house in Lagos or in Abuja, 
after all, the ones who built in house in London and Jamaica and America are not fighting against us. You don't try it. We don't want to know who you are. Make haste while the sun shine. You should ask yourself, is our land that evil they are dragging for it for Luga? Is it not our land that they are stealing oil that sustaining Nigeria? Is the, why is it that our money is good to invest in Yoruba and our salon, but it's not good to invest in our land? But don't forget, Yoruba did not force you to come and build a house in Yoruba land. Though. Neither did Awosa force you, though they did it indirectly. Don't forget that. True policy. You are manipulated to do that. You wake yourself up from that manipulation. Are you there calling on WhatsApp? Yeah. Good evening, Mazi George Oyibe. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Yeah, this is uh, from uh, Paris. Mazi George Oyibe, today is a, is, a, is a very good uh, program you are holding to us today. And uh, I want to say something about uh, Yorubas. You see, the Yorubas, they know that uh, they don't like us. It's just because of now, the water is almost at their neck. They have changed mind, trying to unite us. They would like to say, Yoruba should stop to condemn Yoruba. Yoruba should stop condemning Yoruba. It's because it's not affecting them. That is why they are shouting. Now I told them, someone here, I told him, if Yoruba and the Aosa will share two things, Share seaport and the capital. I will start the capital to their area, and you people see seaport in uh, Apapa Lagos. And the boys don't have anything. No, they, now they, they give us checking point. They give us checking point. And they, they, they give are, us they are kind point. to give us more to get. They, they, are, they, are, they are kind. They are kind, and they will give us Ruga. Yes. They are giving so, us labor. Them, if you, God will punish all Yes. Of them. And I told them, if you really want us to be one, when they said the uh, revelation, I said, if you want us to be one, you must do other things. That's important in your land. Let's have it so that we know, yes, you people meant something. And uh, definitely we Igbos and we Biafrans have worked up. And another thing I want to say is about Obi of Nature, you just said. Obi of Nature. Uh, sorry, Obi of Abo. Obi of Abo don't know that. We know his history. If he come out boldly to disown his ancestors, his origin, we definitely will disown him because he was brought up in uh, Bini land when his father was caught in robbery, arm robbery, highway robbery. His father was shot down and covered, covered with uh, pepper. In the morning, they discover uh, the men of Obi of Abo. So now, they escape him to put him in Benin and train him from there. They send him to London where he was brought up. We know that he, his blood itself is a criminal blood and he was brought up in Yoruba land. So he's not even meant to be a uh, Biafran. He's never meant to be a Biafran or Igbo or whatever. If he claims he's a uh, Yoruba, let him and his household alone go there because that is people that from Benin, they trained him. And that Abine, they trained him, their king there is still a Yoruba uh, descendant, whatever. But we know him. If we want us to tell him about him, we know him. I can next time he make up this nonsense, I will call the date they shot his father in highway robbery in, with, with AK-47, uh, with a Mark 4. I will call the date, the time, the hour, and the day, the, 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 the motto, Amapolo, uh, policeman shot the father down. We know his data. So he have to keep quiet and let the sleeping dog lie peacefully. But if he insists that he will distract our one struggle with all these things we are passing through, we are facing a lot of things. And he's there because they managed to set him to London where he secured his life. He's a small boy. He has never seen anything. He was trained. He was brought up. The money they used to pay his hospital bill is from highway robber. And this money is from Igbos. When they go and do business in, in buy things in Lagos to bring them to our nature, his father will leave the palace and take some men and block the road. We know when uh, Abo Road is very hot, Bini Road is very hot. His father is one of the key leaders, the ring leader of these highway robbers until they sect him, until one day, Escort getting father's uh, shot his father dead. We know this, but 
I will bring more. If you try to make any more of this noise, I will upload everything because I have the picture of the father lying in the highway press when the escort shot him down. I have this picture. I will upload it to his. I will go to his uh, own side. I'm talking to you, you don't have those him. information. That is why we are warning all of them. Anybody you are a friend, you don't know what to see. They have paid you. Shut up. Shut up. It's not, don't fool yes. yourself. We are warning all of them. Yes. You know, today when we are all calling Nayangodu, we are calling OKC okay, Puzzle. They think they are angel. Make on our respect they on think our we don't know enough They think we don't know what they've done to us. Don't worry. We know them very well. So we give this a warning I sent to him. That will be that young boy. We send, I sent this warning. Next time we will say, he I will was born in the death of his father. I will forward it, forward it to him. He will see where his father lies in the highway. In the morning, until people scream that is the Obi of, Obi of Abu. Go punish him there. My son, Ibe, please, I, I'm, I, I want to stop so far. It's just why I call this call. is because of that boy. That boy. No, that that is what they Obi do. Of, it's not made Obi of Abu. That, that is, is why I, called the, I made this call. The controller yes. and he knows it. I believe you. I will, yes, now he's a criminal. I, the father, father, oh, oh, what you do? Anytime I get an order, we forward it. It's everything. I know the day, the time, the moment, and even the side of the road. He will see his father lying on the highway express with my four, with my four. They block Igbo people every day. They go to Anicha to buy market in Igbo to come back. They block Igbo yes. So this. Yes, they never like us. The father never like an evil man. They are the people taking money from our people, buying market from Lagos to Abad to Onitsha. And he will block them on the way. After, after meeting in the palace, he will take his guys with Mark IV during those days and block the road. His father is a high, highway robber. We know that. I know the date. I have even the picture of his father on the highway where the Mopo shot in the escort of uh, Mark Polo. Thank you very down. Much. So let it keep quiet. Thank you very much, my brother, and God bless you. Our people must understand. There is no two ways about that. We come here daily basis pointing out to you our mistake, the errors of our ways. And this is to enable you to begin to make correction when necessary. How you choose to define it, it's, it's entirely your business. But we are telling you, nobody will sell us again out. Nobody. Forget about who you are. Nobody. Because who men want to me here may work well. Can you hear me call her on the line? Hello. Good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jenny. Uh, you can check uh, on uh, I'm calling from Abedali. So what is the what is the discussion tonight? The discussion is simply our people should develop their land and stop developing Yoruba and Fulani land. Because at the end of the day, that is one of the things hindering the restoration of Biafra. Because many of them are saying, hey, we on Lagos. I have house in Abuja, my house in Gwangwalada, what happened? But Yoruba don't develop our land. Awosa don't develop our land. So who sent them to go and develop Yoruba and Awosa land? Go ahead, My dear, ask, ask for, ask for Yoruba. Yoruba, the second name is Okere Mbogere. Okere Mbogere. You always say it is where the party that is moving, these are the people that support, they, they used to support. So they have seen now that it is hot left and right. Are you getting me? That is where they are supporting us. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. The I trust the Yoruba man. They are the number one saboteur. My father told me that Yoruba are some saboteurs. My father is a veteran. Are you getting me? So Yoruba, they are veterans. It is quite unfortunate that they made us that we are scattered all over the world. We are not developing their land. But whosoever they have developed should be it. And who wants to go and develop again should not go and develop because we have seen the dust, we have seen the drum they are beating. It's no longer benefiting us. So let us come back home. It is well with us. We can make it. We can make it. If we can develop other places, we say we cannot develop our own. They are mad. Only you say, if you have to leave us today, I should come up to me. Oti banjo, oti banjo, mbolo wa. Mbolo wa, kilo tushe. 
Vice President, on now, you, where you head like, I call you going to do this, where you where you from, 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 where no focus that an hour will give you, God will punish you. You go see if you never wake up. She will not kill you, ma. They say your own mama na thief, your own mama na wish, your own mama na wizard, your own mama na shower. You see people with their mama, as their mama train them, as they watch mama uh, video clip today, and say, oh, so this woman kind of you. See, see the two of the women drop off, you will not kill them, you will die. No, you think you will bury you. Your own wife. And your own wife is a disgrace and for bondage. Wait till they wait for you. Check the book. Who is going to get some of you? I didn't know you. I have this here. Where will I be? Who can I call this number? Who can I not see? Who can I come out? Not see? I'm the key picking. Not see? I'm the key person. Who can I come out? Where will I be? Who can I come out? This is what I know. Go swallow us. Now we go swallow them because we know who they are eating. Now our land now will stand. Now we will stand. Which of the program, please? Hello. Which of the program? Evening program. Once this one is rounding up, I'm coming on the next stage, the next segment. I mean, and that is in about All thirty right. minutes, forty minutes from now. Uh, what about the women program? On the women program, that is on Sunday. It's on Sundays. Okay, fine. All right. By what time? Sunday, 7 p.m. Biafran time. 7, 7, 7, time. 7 p.m. Biafran time. All right. God bless Thank you. Thank you very much. No worries. Exactly. That is what they deserve. Thank you very much. Yes, a caller on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Mazonibe. Thank you for holding my name. On. My name is Collins. From Hamburg, Germany. Mazi, a holy to you. A holy, George Onibe. A holy. God bless you, Master. God bless you, Director. God bless you for all. Mazi, I just want to use the opportunity to say sorry and to say, make on the lands, like French people used to say, make on the lands for my leader, my Director. I respect this very family. I pray for this very family, and I have never seen this very family before. Even my own family that I was born, that I'm born, have never seen this very family before. A family that a brother will die for a brother, mother will die for a mother, sister will die for a sister. Everybody is dying for one another. Everybody will must die. That is everybody is fighting for one another. And the whole generation, the, the whole family is fighting for Biafra. Mazi, I respect this very family. And I pray God Almighty. All that is this, our mama, may God, may God be on her side. Mazi, that is one point. There is one verse I want to read in the Bible. The Bible says that Romans chapter 12, verse 14 says, Pray for those who persecute you and cause not. Vengeance is mine. And I hold one, one, one verse. The verse says, If it is possible, live peaceable with all men. And I know that if I have, that God knows that it's not possible for you to live peace with all men. We are not going to be in peace with Yeruba. There is no peace. There will be no peace between Biafrans and Yeruba until the eternity. I know no matter anything, these people are not good. When I look about our, our sister, our mother, that always say in media, say, we will never go back to Nigeria again. Anytime I watch that video, Facebook have blocked me for that because I used to send in that video every time. Mazi, 
Master, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We can never be peace with the Yoruba. No, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. No matter anything they like to do, if they like, may they say oh, we are one. No, never. If my I father, if never. my father like, after never. all, only of if I said that Ibu migrated from Yoruba. <laughs> very laughing. Never. Are, uh, never. Thank you very never. much. We must continue. Our, our people should not lose focus. There is no two ways about it. We just try to analyze what has happened. With pain in our heart, we express ourselves. And certainly, you shouldn't tell us how to mourn, which especially when you are the one who is responsible for the murderer. You are the murderer. And don't tell us how we mourn those you have killed. It is simple. Our people should help themselves. You help yourself and learn from them. What is the yardstick that you are developing Yoruba land when Yoruba is destroying your land? Selling your land out. What is the yardstick or mindset that you are developing Fulani land? Did I say Fulani land? How is that land for Fulani people? And in your place, they come with man. Who is actually stupid among us? Are they the one or we are the one? And when we are telling you, you are speaking grammar. Brother, wake up. Wake up. This is some of the things hindering our people from rising up to do the needful. You rise up, you know rise up. We will do the needful when the time comes. Are you there? Call on the line. Call on the line. Are you there? Call on WhatsApp. And of course, Zoo Epileptic Network will do all they can. Can you hear me? Call on the line. Hello. Good evening from here. Your name and where are you calling from? Call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Call on. Hey, my brother George Onyipe. Good evening from here. My brother George Onyipe, the glorious African rap, the fearless lion with no limit. Mas George Onyipe, I greet you. I greet you. I greet you with the love of Biafra and with the love of God. Master George Onibe, I just want to commend our leader, Master Nandekano. In all my life, I have never seen a man like this. I have never seen anybody like this. I could remember when my mother, mother died, I was finished. My life was finished. Eh? I was broken. I was sad. I was, you know, there was no more life left in me. Eh? To think that uh, Mama died since August, eh? and Donyendu kept on moving the way he was moving, eh? fighting the way he was fighting. He went to UN, eh? he went to European Parliament, he went to Japan. While Mama was dead, oh, George Onibe, anybody that would say anything bad against this man, make thunder fire the person. Honestly, who can do such a thing? Eh? What other loyalty are we looking for? Eh? This man said he will sacrifice anything sacrificable. Eh? He sacrificed his mother. Eh? I cannot sacrifice my mother. Eh? Oh, George Onibe, I, 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 I am my heart is bleeding for this man. Nanda Kano. Hmm? My heart is absolutely bleeding for him. What sort of a, what sort of a man is this? Eh? I know you know what I'm talking about. What, what sort of a man is this? Eh? M Mama died since August. And yet he, he's fighting like a, a, a wounded lion. And nobody saw it on his face until you know, uh, the day before yesterday. You know? God, God will, God, God will keep this man for us. Eh? Honestly, we thank Mama for giving us such a son, for giving us such a son. If not what Jesus Christ did, eh? I don't think anybody can do what this man have done. Eh? And all the people fighting him and all these uh, saboteurs up and down in the Amodo and Devil Maya and look at it, Basu. Tineke got more Hong Kong. Tineke got more Hong Kong. Tineke got more Hong Kong. Oh no. 
I'm, 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 I'm sad. My, my, my heart is filled with, with, with heaviness. 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 And this is just as they're fighting for uh, uh, Igbo presidency. Eh? Eh? They are fighting for Igbo presidency. They can't even read the writing on the wall. They can't read the writing, the handwriting on the wall, and they are fighting for Igbo presidency. My God will punish them, punish their lineage, punish their family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? 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 Okay. Oh, mm. uh, 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 oh God, God, I, don't, I don't know what kind of a man is our leader. Eh? He said yesterday something that made me cry. That he's prepared to share the oil and gas. Eh? What kind of a man is this? Why can't the world see that in here we're watching the AK? And yet you are prepared to share the oil and gas. Now, <laughs> What they put us through, eh? And not why Israel is now. Ah, 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 ah. Eh, eh, eh. Give them I was suffering. Not why can they bring the give them no? I can't tell you. I got born born. When Biafra comes, I got born born. You know, you know. And we have we've had enough. We've had enough, my brother. Eh? What kind of they've marginalized us? Now they want to marginalize our mouth. If you say anything against the government, you know, five billion naira. Eh? But yet, many allies planning how they're going to kill us. Eh? Putting it on Facebook, how they want to kill us. And that one is not a, a hate speech. Eh? It's not a hate speech. Oh, Mr. George O'Neill, let me leave you people to carry on because. <laughs> My heart to save you, my brother. God bless you, eh? We must continue. Bye for now. Can you hear me? Call on the line. Call on the line. Call on the female line. That is the problem I have with you people. You are listening to your radio, and I wonder why you call. Can you hear me? Call her on the line. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Good evening, sir. God bless you. The end of the world. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'm I, 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 I'm calling for Mungo Kwale, the president. I'm a Uyama friend, who should be a part line, but I call it with Cosmos. My topic today is okay, the Yoruba pastors hold their friend the new people for work. To Fiafa. That's my topic. Can the Yoruba pastors who hold the Afran, some the Afran people, maybe everybody, some the Afran Muni people for work? Now, let's send my people. Of course, that is Zoo Epileptic Network, but we must continue. Our people must not lose focus of what we have studied this evening and do the needful. Call on the line, can you hear me? Good evening, Mazzoni. Good evening from here. Go my ahead, name is Peter from my name is Peter from Mr. Alamba, no, in a previous project. My journey day, um, my heart is highly troubled on hearing the birth of our beloved dear mother, Nene Kano. And I'm saying the God Almighty grant her eternal rest and condemn my able leader and the, his siblings. And I pray that the people shall grant them good long life. None of them shall die before their time they shall reach the fruit of all their labor. Mama has died their dead, and they shall live to uplift their enemies. In the name of Yehesha, Yehesha, Mama has prayed. So what we are saying this evening, our topic this evening is the year about. They have done a lot of things to our land. They came systematically preaching church, church, and our people, because we love God, our people jumped into it without checking what they are doing. All of them are 
Muslims are the converted to Christians. Not saying that it was a plan that they came to destabilize us. They came to say that we are our people's hard cause, hard cause. Only you will learn that you have a central cause. You of us don't have a central cause. And they will not tell our brothers and sisters. I could remember one uncle. That man is outspoken. They immediately entered one of the churches. The man became dumb. He cannot speak again. He's even afraid of coming home. If then that time they will come back home, they will say the crusade so that they will not come to discuss family matters. They will, they will be crusade, 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 oh, until you see a grown up man behaving like a child again. You cannot come to the house and have meeting with his, his brother or has to see past. They will not come. They will be in the church in the form of crusade. When they come back, they will be hiding. They will give them prophecy. This person wants to kill you, this person wants to kill you, they will run you. Look at what is happening now. And do you know what they did? They, they are the people that are fighting all this, our governors, all our people, because from the, from the church. From the church, they appoint them. And they will not be terrorizing us. Our leaders will be terrorizing us in their plan. And you know that really hurt us. Some of our brothers and sisters that are being promoted in Lagos, they will be killed. Before you know it, they say that they are your dad and come up as children, and they are caught in the news of blood down to evil land. So they have done a lot of things for us. But my happiness is that Elohim, who teach everything, has brought a redeemer. He has brought some, a man that will speak the heart of their dear friends, and that is in the channel. And I believe and pray that Almighty God will lead us to that promised land. This is how it is. It was like that in the days of Egypt. Um, uh, Israelites in the land of Egypt, and I believe that we are the Israelites of the of the of the new era. And God will lead us to our promised land, and shame shall be upon them. Our leaders say that the rebels will suffer its last, and I believe it that they will suffer this first last. If we die hundred, I believe that Hansa and you know, and the Israelites will see them billions. Don't worry, they did it their time. They have opportunity to do everything. When they if they are killing Jesus, Jesus told them. My father gave the opportunity to do it. Continue to do it. God gave them opportunity to do it to us. At, at the right time, anything we see their hands and put them to death. I pray that Biafra shall become in our Biafra shall come in our own time. And from that we will console our beloved mother who has departed. I believe she has Biafra at heart before she died. And may God grant her in Tanare and grant us Biafra freedom. This is when our counselors will come. Thank you, Judge. Bless you, bless your family. You are blessed, brother. You are in the name of the Israel has Thank you, God bless you. Thank you. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Uh, Mars, good afternoon from here. Yes, good evening. Thank you for holding on. Go ahead, please. My name is Uchi Diak, calling from Indiana Police, Indiana, United States of America. And I want to use this opportunity to tell our leader that um, may God Almighty Father continue to console him uh, for his loss and our loss too, because it's our mother. And the reason why I call this afternoon is people saying you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy all the time. But we Igbos, we call ourselves a traveler, but we are really blind travelers. Because when I was in the uh, uh, Alaba International, that's a place like a swamp, water, that's water everywhere. You know, Igbo men come up with money and use the cement and chase that water away and build the shops. When the Ibiafra land, there is no shop, there is no market. Now they are regretting. They don't have to regret. It's not today your bad people hate us. It's been a long time where they hate us. It's been a long time they hate us. They stop telling you about your bad, your bad. Igbos, we are kind of blind from the day one of our life. All the whole investment we have in different countries, in all these northern countries, they're talking about uh, what is going on now. This uh, Ibetu went and built a, a hotel in Abuja. Why can't 
can't he build the hotel in Imo, uh, 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 Biafran land? He still went up there and built the, build the hotel. And we're talking about Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba. Everything that is going on now is our fault. It's, it's our fault. And I thank you so much, Mazi, because I will say some of our father don't, you know, give us a history. But since I've been listening to this radio Biafra, believe me, I learned a lot. I learned many history that I even be, I have even here for the first time of my life. And I thank you so much. And uh, I pray that God Almighty will continue to give you a wisdom and guide you and protect you in any way you go to the land of Biafra and come. We will be together and rejoice about it in Chukwu Kabia, my prayer. He said, See, thank you very much and God be with you. And honestly, this is where we will be drawing the curtain for this segment. Our people must not lose track of what we are saying. We are wrong, we are right, we are okay. All of them count. I, 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 I want us to figure out that place we have made mistake. This is the time for us to make amends. This is the time to retrieve our step. This is the time and do he who do he do he. There is a saying in my place. It is referred to as he who do he, do he. Don't let anybody deceive you. Anybody that will come out openly, condemn you as a Biafran, that person will be condemned openly. There is no two ways about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y